Hi there guys, usually my channel focuses on Spanish guitar lessons and nylon string guitar lessons because that's usually what I focus on in my playing, at least these days, but I was playing some electric guitar today and I had some concepts that I thought were worth sharing, things that I've learnt in the past that I was playing today that I thought might help you on your journey. Um, sometimes when I do these electric guitar lessons I get lots of unsubscribes which is kind of like, oh that sucks. I value my subscribers very much. If you prefer just the nylon string stuff or whatever, just ignore these electric ones. I'll be back on the nylon string very soon. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. There's a lot of different guitar content, mainly nylon string, a lot of electric, a lot of other stuff. Anyway, the basic concept of today's lesson is uh, kind of shapes. We're using shapes and basic fingerboard patterns. So one of them is... This is one of the most fundamental things you can do, but it also sounds really great and a lot of people probably maybe don't know about it, so I'll definitely share it with you. I'm just using the E minor pentatonic, e minor pentatonic scale. And just to start with, we can do a very basic exercise where we do a hammer. Do three hammers in a row. And that's the E string to the... Uh, so it's 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14. Just practice that a few times. There's a very big difference between getting your fingers in the right spot, which is not that hard, and getting it to sound accurate and precise and sound good, which can be quite difficult and require a lot of repetition. Once you've done that, we move to the next string. So it's A string, D string, G string. And the nice thing about this middle of the pentatonic scale and uh, a concept that I will use in most of these licks today and I use a lot in my playing and most rock guitarists use in their playing because it's quite fundamental. 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14. So it's the same finger pattern on three strings in a row. You might be sitting there going, I already knew that dummy. Good, I'm glad that you know that. Um, what I might be bringing to the table that you didn't know or just can remind you of the idea you can make shapes with those. And you can play the same string on one set of strings and then the next set of strings. That can lead to blisteringly fast lead patterns. So in that case, I'm just going, you can just, I won't say all the 12s and 14s, you can just listen and watch my fingers. And then you go to, so that was it. Then you go to the next set of strings, starting on the D string. And they're identical, just one string apart. So that kind of concept, you can make heaps of cool licks like that. You can do um, on this one here. Cause that's quite popular. Um, going from the higher notes to the lower notes, you can go 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12. doing there to get to the 15 so the, the the lick is but this is probably something worth uh, talking about a little bit I'm doing like a string rake so if you watch closely this middle finger here is muting those middle strings that one's fretting that's fretting the 15th fret note that I'm actually aiming for but I'm muting those strings and my pick is not starting at the highest string my pick's starting somewhere down here let's say the D string that's the string can you hear that there's a little, t there's a little percussive sound before I hit the note. That's something I find myself doing a lot. I think I learned it when I was quite young from David Gilmore of Pink Floyd. He does it a lot, but it's a concept worth exploring. Playing a lead guitar like this or electric guitar, especially when it's loud, like if I turn up, I've got my amp turned down quite low, so there's not as much kind of string noise and scraping noise as there can be at, at very loud volumes. But that use of those string rakes is really good for muting. Because if you go like this, hear how the guitar sounds to howl and hiss a bit with that rake is well worth knowing about. So just a couple little concepts there just to get you started. Please tell me if you want more or less of this. I'm going to be doing my own personal practice today. And I'll see you again soon for some more electric, Spanish or whatever else. Thank you.